G'day guys and welcome back to episode 2 of this World Cup database with Australia. Um, just, uh, well, just to recap, um, uh, sorry about uh, the way that first episode ended. Um, kind of ended pretty abruptly, didn't it? So, um, yeah, I actually had to go at that time, so uh, right away. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, sorry about it, but uh, well, let's move on here. So, first episode was really good. Uh, dominating 5-1 victory over Chile. Um, that was a good way to start it. Uh, and now we're up against the mighty Dutch, um, which... <clears throat> they lost their opening game against uh, Spain. Let's see what the score was. Because uh, well, three one. So uh, yeah, it's it's going to be tough. I mean, they're going to come out for a win, and they're going to be be hard on it. Um, the World Cup isn't going exactly how it is like in real life. It's kind of going a completely opposite. Brazil <laughs> not doing too well. Um, you know, and England's even winning games, so that's a bit of. So there you go, and Costa Rica, which is a massive surprise in this World Cup, if I would say so. Um, look at that, one alls. So, kind of changed the tactic a bit, and I'm actually going to go with this tactic against the Netherlands. Um, hmm. In fact. Ball winning midfielder. I'm actually going to keep Mela Yadonak in, in it, but have a ball winning midfielder, which that's what I kind of want. Him in front of the three, and Davidson up there, and Franich to be there. So uh, so that's how I want it. And of course, Kyle and Taggart. So this is going to be a tough game, no doubt about it. Um, maybe let's not drop deeper, but I'll leave it at that. So it's Australia. And that new tactic, I'm going to try it. And it looks like Chile defeated Spain in the last game. Let's see what the score was. It's kind of funny that you can uh, see the games here. Italy beat Costa Rica. And Chile beat Spain 3-2. So this could be pretty interesting if uh, if we lose, uh, get a win here. Um, or if we lose, it will be a three-way four-way tie at three points. So what I'm really aiming for here, obviously we want to win because if we win, uh, we'll be going through. It's simple as that. You know, a draw would be nice, and even if a loss, if we lose one nil, I'd be happy. But if we start losing around three, four goals, then it's a big concern, and this is not what we want because we have a massive goal differential. So this is a big game. Uh, I really want to draw this game because if I draw, um then I've given myself a really, really good opportunity to get out of the group stage. So, here we go. Just going to do these man marks on Robin for Percy. Maybe I'll just leave him like that. Um, obviously, Snyder, close on Huntelaar. Obviously, he's a pretty big player as well. Kevin Strootman. Really want to close him down a lot. In fact, I'll do that. Dirt count. And Jordy Classy. And let's leave it at that. So let's go out and get a result here, guys. This will be huge. So here we go. If we can get a result in here, it would be huge. And I'm decide to really want to go with this tactic because, you know, it's it could be interesting. And I have Sparanovic in the middle as well. There was a chance there for Tagger pretty early. He's Kyle. And that's why we want to kind of watch on because the Netherlands are pretty good on the counters as well. Yeah, Spranovich, where are you guys going? Oh, that is terrible. These guys up the field. That's a good save by Ryan. Get it out, guys. There you go. Oh, 
Yeah. And Kyle's on a yellow already. Where is it? Okay, let's go on fluid it. Already in the Netherlands have five shots. We got nothing. Good play, Lecky. Take it's the man up front. Which uh I looked a bit offside. And that was a chance and that was lucky. <clears throat> With this already, you can tell we're not gonna get many opportunities. <laughs> But that's, you know, that's how it's kind of set up, right? I mean, that's how I kind of set up, kind of expected it. But, uh, you know, Netherlands are getting some opportunities, I guess. Really need a chance on a set piece, because that's where I feel that, uh, we, um, you know that's that's our strongest point. I think these set pieces, you know, corners. Um, you know, let's try and throw some in the box. You know, Timmy's one of the best there is in there. So, you know, but <coughs> yeah, oh, bugger. It's a good save, Ryan. I don't want to concede before halftime. These are the kind of replays that are more the most nerving. Is when they decide to show it at the very end of halves. It's you say, "Oh God, you think they're going to concede a goal here? Come on, here's tag it." Nah, that's not a good pass. So we're holding on. <laughs> Twelve points. Um, I don't know whether to, to praise him or what, because uh, we're gonna need to be better. Looks like Van Persie's now the main guy up front. Um, okay, let's reset it here. Schneider. Go to close down. Strootman. Count. Um, Franich. Okay, maybe I'll play this one now. Put Kyle in behind. No, it doesn't really change it up much, but. Um, I'm not sure if I should put Yedinak as a defense because he is pretty good at marking and tackling but what's his support he's got not really great passing that's the thing let's leave Yedinak there this is pretty much strictly defend 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 <laughs> Come on, Lecky, here's a chance. No, that's not a good cross. No, that's a good save by Ryan. It looks like Honduras is up 1 0 on Ecuador. We're getting a bit manhandled here. Uh, let's go exploit the right flank because that's Lecky's. I mean, you know, that looked a bit offside, and it was. Mm. 
we haven't even had any chances or opportunities yet <laughs> come on guys we're better than this and Ryan is playing the, the game of his life here play Timmy just kind of okay here's a chance oh and Timmy just put it wide that would have been huge guys. <laughs> that would have been huge and Leroy fit oh here's another chance get an neck Okay, I think I'm gonna make a sub here because I don't really want Timmy to, uh, to you know, he's on a yellow. I'm gonna take the shorter passing off, and or let's put bars in it, Sean. That was lucky. We're, we're getting lucky here. I mean, we're giving them a lot of opportunities, but I kind of expected, knowing this tactic, you know, five back is kind of weathering the storm, like, and Matt Ryan is doing a phenomenal job here. And that wasn't good enough. Okay. Right flank. Yeah, that's what we want. Um. Do passing the spice. And then Percy fouls. Come on, Kimmy. Okay, here we go, guys. Maybe we can make something here. Here's Davidson. Take it. Here's Kai Hill. Oh, four. Oh, chance. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of a dis bad defense play there. Oh, there you go! Oh, Matthew Spradovich! Oh, come on, guys! What a play! You know, I'm not getting opportunities. This Kyle again. I think he hit the crossbar, and there's Spradovich, the sub. The new man. <laughs> this, this is incredible. Okay, um... So now we got the lead. I don't know whether to. Um, you know, Yedonak's playing well, but I don't want to risk him getting a card. Same with Kyle. Um, okay, what I can do here is. I think I might go ultra defensive now. Um, put on Mark Milligan as well. We have Yananak in the back and have Milligan here as well. Um, and just have him as defensive midfield. Um, Mike Tider. Oh, this, this would be huge. We've been dominated the whole game, but we're playing really good defensively. And now. We're up in the lead against the Netherlands. And let's just lower the tempo as well. Good play. Get it out, guys. Get it out. Get it out. Good stop, Ryan. And actually, I might take Tagger out off in the next one. Maybe. Come on, guys, there you go. <coughs> I'm 
Ah, bugger. Well, we held them for 82 minutes, and now, and we had the lead. And 24 shots on net. Strokeman got up. Bugger. Now it's a game again. Um. So now, can Halloran play up front? He can't. Lecky, Troisi, Vidicic. Just seeing if Vidicic can play up front. Doesn't have the greatest attacking though, but. Okay, maybe I'll leave Taggart on. And bring in Ben Halloran. Because like he hasn't shown much in this game, he's, he's had a few opportunities. But now we just want to kind of go directly for this draw. What are you guys doing? Come on, Halloran. What the? What kind of pass was that? Jesus Christ. That wasn't good. That was Halloran, the new guy. That wasn't good enough. Okay, what I might do here is take the lower tempo off and, uh, <clears throat> and exploit both flanks. Last play of the game. Blow the whistle. We're over three minutes now. And there it is. So, I'll take it, guys. That was good. And, well done, lads. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to praise him because I thought the defense was, was spot on. I mean, sure, we gave a lot of opportunities. And that's a bit of a shame for Speranovic. We gave a lot of opportunities. What the hell? What's going on here? We won our first game and it says three points. And it says the Netherlands won. What? Let's, this has got to be. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I thought that would be a bug or something. But no, it's good. So, there we got it, guys. <laughs> the new tactic paid off again. Switched it up for this game and it worked. And, I mean, look, let's not kid myself. I'm not going to kid myself. I got lucky. I mean, simple as that. 27 shots. <laughs> 15 of them were on target. Matt Ryan, he should have been man of the match. Um, and, you know, we like I said, I mean, set pieces is what our strong points is. And, and Spiranovic, I mean, the new guy, the new center back, comes in and scores a goal. So... Uh, that was good, and unfortunately we were able to hold on, but I thought that was a good performance defensive-wise. Obviously, um, offensive-wise, uh, I mean, it wasn't as good, but, uh, you know, with a five-man back line for defense, I mean, that's, um, yeah, that's kind of expected, wouldn't you? So, uh, so yeah, good result. I'll take it. Uh, a one all draw against the Netherlands. Um, and we were up. We were up a goal. So, uh, yeah. Um, you know, and, and yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get. <laughs> again, it was lucky. I mean, it was a lucky, but it was a gamble, I thought, because, you know, I, I knew it. I knew when you were going to make a tactic with five back, and, you know, obviously you got. Two attacking guys, Kyle and Taggart. I mean, obviously, it's a, a counter, relying on counter type of goal or set pieces. And luckily, it paid off. You know, the defense played well. Um, and, yeah, that was pretty impressive. Um, and, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the draw. That was a good play. Um, and let's look at these games. So we're at the top of the group, guys. And good thing is goal difference. Because now we're going up against Spain. They're at three points. Um, even if we lose and the Netherlands defeat Chile, 
and by at least maybe you know four goals is what they really need to beat them by to have a real chance. And I, if I lose two nil, then you know it will be interesting. But uh, right now we're in a pretty good spot. We're in a pretty good spot here. Um, and that was a good, that was a harder, harder result for us, and that was big because uh, yeah, that was huge. Honduras and it looks like Honduras and Ecuador went out for a draw. Let's let's just why not see these other results? Ah, bugger. So yeah, Italy yeah it was a one-all draw. And, oh, Switzerland beating France as a turnout. France. So yeah, so there we have it, guys. Um, next up is Spain. Obviously, I'm not going to kid myself. Like I've been saying, it was a lucky result. It was a gamble, and it paid off because I was wanting a draw or a win, and we were in a winning position. But, unfortunately, we weren't able to withstand them. Um, but, yeah. Give full credit to the whole back line of Matt Ryan. Uh, great performance in that game, that's for sure. So, we're still on pace. We're still in the World Cup. we got a good chance now of advancing. Um... And yeah, so we're gonna go out and <laughs> wouldn't this be great? Top in the group, and right now, if say if this was the last group game, we would have Cameroon in the round of 16, and I wouldn't mind that at all, to be honest. So yeah, there we go. Um, so again, guys, hope you guys are enjoying this. I am, and I am actually really happy now because we got a win and a draw in the first two games. We've already surpassed what Australia was able to do in the World Cup this year but I mean I'm still proud that we played but yeah so uh, that's another story so yeah it's great um, hope you guys continue to watch us and uh, should have episode 3 up pretty soon here so uh, again guys cheers and thanks for watching